Hello, and welcome back to my vlog series on workforce analytics. My name is Deesa Davis, and I'm an account executive here at Parker Smith & Feek. In my last vlog, we discussed how to make sense of your data and how to use it to make informed decisions. Now, let's talk about how to communicate these amazing programs to your team in a way that makes sense to them and adds value to their employment. Gone are the days of passing out a packet and calling it good. Employees want more. Depending on your demographic profile of your team, you will find a variety of media sources to communicate your benefit programs. Some employees will still want a hard copy to take home with them, write on, and file away. Generally speaking, this is typical of an older workforce, although some lower tech groups also prefer printed materials. Regardless which media you choose, you will find considerable value in adding the personal touch of directly communicating with your team. When reviewing communication options, think about the age groups, technology comfort levels, and what resources are available. For example, do you have meeting rooms with presentation capabilities? Do employees have access to a computer? Or do they depend on their personal devices to get information? Are employees in one location or spread out across the country? And do shifts allow you to meet with employees at one time or will multiple sessions be required? Think about the kinds of media your employees are already using on a daily basis. In the next session, we will discuss how to reevaluate your programs year over year to ensure they align with your growing or changing workforce and how to gauge employee satisfaction. Thanks for watching.